Greetings, uh, my name is Gershon Gershon Barnard, okay, right, and today, okay, I'm actually on my way somewhere, so I'm not trying to, like, make a long video or anything, so, yeah, so here goes, now, a boy was recently shooting, trying to, like, hit a target, okay, so a boy shooting, trying to hit a target, he was shooting with, like, a plastic gun or something, obviously, it's not like, I don't know, I don't care about, you know, what gun you are using, I'm not into guns and stuff, okay, right, so he was trying to, like, hit the target, okay, so, in his attempt to hit the target, this is what happened. His father was like just screaming at him, shouting at him, hey, not like this, like that, not like this, like that. The father even later on went over to the boy, okay? Got to the boy and he was like holding the gun, trying to show the boy like this, like this, blah, 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 blah. Okay? So as he was doing that, now, nah, it didn't help at all, okay? Two, three months later on, like went by, Okay? The boy was still a horrible shooter. It's like there was zero improvement, okay? If someone said, no, he became worse at shooting, like, I'd be like, no, that's a, that's a fair statement to make. Like, you would not be lying if you said that, okay? Right. And now that's now where this video comes in because this video now, it tries to touch on one of the involved aspects or one of my, should I call it, interpretations of such an event, Okay? And hopefully what I say will be relevant to the extent where it's something you can not necessarily use, but something you can relate to and from which you can have some sort of an aha moment. Okay, right. What happened now was I saw this. Okay, so I went to the boy and then I was helping the boy, showing the boy like this, you know, like I was just like showing him some stuff. Okay, right. And then. From showing him some stuff, you could see there's a slight improvement. Obviously, I'm not saying the boy is making progress. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying there was a slight improvement. And so the father came to me. The father was like, hey, like, what are you doing that's different? And I'm like, no, no, no. I'm not going to necessarily try to answer your question. I'll try to give you some insight because my objective wasn't to be you are doing X, I'm doing Y, because X is different from Y. That's That wasn't the objective when I went and sat down with the boy. Nah? The thing is, normally when you are busy, engaged in a task, let's say it's something that you are learning, okay? What's happening in the process of learning nah, is there is an internal dialogue, okay? There is an internal dialogue. A typical example would be, let's say, you are learning how to drive. When you learn how to drive, mind you, you don't know how to drive. So in learning how to drive, it's a situation of you would hear a noise the engine is making. Someone who is qualified in driving should explain to you, no, that is the engine. And right now, that's the noise or the sound of the engine when it over revs. Over revs. What does that mean? So now you are explaining to this person how to think about you know, this dilemma that they find themselves in. It's over ref. This is, an uh, engine should not over ref. If it is over refing, it means you are pressing the acceleration while being in a low gear, da, 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 stuff like So next time when they do do that, one, they should identify what the, not necessarily problem, but what the issue is. They should accurately do so. There should be a sense of accuracy, a sense of precision in doing so. Okay, right. Now at the same time, they should sit down and then they should ask themselves, okay, so if this is happening, how do I solve this predicament that I now find myself in? Okay, so there is acceleration. So now you hoi clutch and then you shift gears. Go to a higher gear. It's like now, guess what? Now the quality of that internal, for now you can call it what? monologue because it's definitely not a dialogue yeah that internal or you can call it a dialogue it depends uh, it's not it's not like uh, you know the technical definition will make some sort of a difference to my point it's not there's some sort of an internal monologue dialogue happening okay monologue dialogue it's because it depends on how you perceive it to be okay some people believe that they are chatting or talking to the universe other people believe that they are talking to themselves so it depends right so it's a situation of what I'm telling the boy is I'm basically giving him stuff to enhance the quality of his internal dialogue. 
So it's not like I go there and I try to be different. I go there and I'm like, no, no, no. Do you know why you were missing? You are missing because of something called the wind. It's like, the wind? What do you mean? No, 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 just look. You are shooting and it's going in a certain direction. So what does that tell you? You are shooting and it's almost like you are now shooting against the wind. So take that. So now, how do you do that? Now you tilt your direction, the direction in which you are shooting. Okay, so now you tilt. And just that alone, it's like an aha moment. Like, whoa, I'm making progress here. Because by tilting, I can see now the curvature of, you know, the projectile or whatever, okay? And now you're like, okay. Even now, your confidence is a little bit higher because you're like, hey, I'm making progress. And that, nah, the depth of what I just said, nah, is the key game changer, which I think a lot of coaches... Well, not necessarily coaches because you would expect them to know this, which a lot of parents are getting wrong in raising a child. Or that is the thing that a lot of people who like do group studies, where they study in groups and they try to teach each other, hey, uh, you do question six in this way. Hey, you do question seven in that way. It's like, yes, you showed me how to do question seven, but now when I get to question eight, now it's a matter of now we have to start from scratch. I go to question nine, now we have to start from scratch again. Do you see what I'm saying? Why? Because there's this base, this core element, okay, which is not properly addressed, okay? And, and, and that deals with the, the quality of the internal conversations that we have. Simply meaning if you are teaching a kid or raising a kid or whatever, you need to sit down. You need to understand, properly understand what it is that they are doing wrong. Okay? And then let them, in their mind, let them hash it out. Let them say, okay, this thing, I'm kicking the ball or I am doing the sum, but I'm not getting the, the right answer. I'm not saying that you should disrupt that conversation that they have with themselves that's not what i'm that's not what i'm encouraging here that's not what i'm suggesting uh, uh, suggesting here now what i'm saying is after they are done having that you know uh, uh, internal discussion with themselves now you should just tap them on the shoulder and then you just like show them one or two or three things for them to go back into that conversation and to just have that aha moment because that it's a key part of not just learning, but in my case of mastery. Because I'm now at a point where I'm like, listen, I don't just want to learn. Right now, I'm at a point where I just like, I'm trying to be the best on the planet at what I'm doing. Okay. And someone was like, so where do you get the confidence from to talk about, you know, I want to be the best on the planet at what I do. I'm like, no, no, no. It's not a matter of confidence or this or that. It's a matter of, I have a process here. And... In engineering, there's this thing called control systems. In control systems, there's this thing called uh, a feedback system. Okay, you get open loop and closed loop system. A feedback uh, system is essentially a closed loop system. Simply meaning, there's always feedback. As to say, listen, you went over by two. So now you know, when you do the iteration again, now you should account for the two. Okay? It, and then you do that, you do that until it, it's now, should I call it, the perfect answer that you are looking for or the perfect outcome that you are looking for, okay? And that essentially is what this is about. It's a means of saying, listen, uh, I want to do a certain thing. But in you doing, because you don't know how to do the thing, it means that you don't have the information at your disposal for how to do that thing correctly or success, successfully, okay? So... Obviously, throughout your process, a thing that you are guaranteed to do is you are guaranteed to reflect as to say, no, but why am I not getting the preferred outcome? And asking yourself that question, it's pointless. It's irrelevant. Okay, why? Because, I mean, you don't know how to be the best soccer player. You don't. But someone has to sit down with you and say, listen, I'm also not the best soccer player, but if you kick the ball, can you see what's happening? Kick it like this, kick it like that. And then that sense of feedback. If you can enhance the feedback, yeah, you can enhance the output. Because the output, it is a function of the feedback that you are getting. Okay? And that is essentially my point. That is something where even me, I would do something and then I would stop and then I would just pause. 
And as I'm pausing, someone was asking me, so what did you do just now? And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm having a conversation with myself. I'm giving myself feedback. I'm trying to extract feedback from the situation. And the feedback that I'm extracting, what's important about that feedback is whether or not it's high quality feedback. If it's not high quality feedback, then now I have to go out and then I have to put a process or a conversation in place that will enable me to have a high quality conversation with myself. And that conversation, if it's a high quality conversation, if it's a relevant conversation, a conversation that accounts for, you know, accuracy, that accounts for precision, then I don't see how you can not become better at what it is that you do. Okay? I'm currently busy with the course now. And one of the things is the course is just going amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Okay? One of the guys came to me and he's like, wait, like you're doing the course on your own and you're making progress. And I was like, no, no, no. That's because I've mastered my internal conversation to the point where I now even know what the right questions are to ask. Then on top of that, and then I'm going to close this off now. Asking the right questions, it's one element. Okay, what's the other element? The other element, and this is what's key, this is what's powerful. If you've watched this video and it's a complete waste of your time, I feel for you, but hopefully what I'm about to say next is going to make it worth your while now. In the process of learning anything, eh, you reach a point where you need to be able to recognize what is or what constitutes as a satisfying answer. A lot of people they, in life, they ask questions, the right questions, they get answers and then voila, they move on with life. But then the growth it's it's minimal like it's it's minimum growth moving forward now to maximize your growth yeah, to maximize the rate at which you are learning the rate at which you are growing yeah, you need to be able to do what to identify satisfying answers simply meaning an answer that satisfy your question down to its core it's an answer where Yes, I know the answer should be this, but as I'm looking at the answer, I now have two more questions because I wanted to understand two things and now I understand four things from this answer. Simply meaning the answer is revelatory. The answer is now, it's like, whoa. If this is the answer, now that answer is now giving you four or five more questions. Not questions as in, in a bad sense, but questions as in, I now ask more questions because of how better I now understand this thing. That is why you'll notice a lot of university students, they end up doing honors and masters and some even go up until PhD. And then you wonder, what do you plan on doing with a, with a PhD? It's not to say that this person needs a PhD. They don't need a PhD. I know someone who's busy, you know, completing their second master's and people are like, are you crazy? Like, you're not even using the first master's. Why would you go and do the second master's? I was like, no, no, no. You are missing the point completely. This is not about having more degrees than a thermometer. This is about saying, listen, because I understand, it starts off with asking a question and then in trying to answer that question, you have this internal dialogue, okay? Like, you are there, you know, uh, uh, talking to yourself or talking to the universe or whatever, right? And then somehow from that, because that feedback mechanism, because it has been perfected, that's mean, uh, that means your, your process of questioning the world, okay? It has been perfected. Now you receive this answer, that answer, but you're like, no, yes, this is an answer, but it's not a satisfying answer. Then, you know, answers now start pouring in and now, boom, you stumble upon this answer. And this is what we call a satisfying answer, meaning it satisfies you down to your core. Now you're like, okay. See, if that's the case, then now what about these other two things? Because now your sense of awareness, you know, that scope, it's, it's now... Uh, being broadened okay and now and and now this is now where people start talking about lifelong learning lifelong learning it, it sounds like something no man 
who wants to learn for the rest of their life. But it's not a matter of who wants to learn for the rest of their life. It's a matter of that is the level to which you are now engaged. Okay? It means you are now... It's almost like these things, they now become revelations. It's like it's... I call it a revelatory experience where you sit and then... It's like you study engineering. You do chemistry. And now because you understand chemistry... Let's say you do electrical engineering because you now understand chemistry. Now you're like, wait, wait, I think I should become a chemical engineer. And we're like, whoa, you're here for electrical engineering. Like, hold your horses. But it's not to say that you are confused. It's to say, listen, I have so many questions now in chemistry. I think I should become a chemical engineer. Okay. Or it's like studying, let's say, electrical engineering. And then you do material science. And then you read about per light and austenite and bainite and martensite and stuff like that and now it's like whoa maybe i should do this metallurgical you know engineering thing people are talking about and then it's a matter of saying whoa hold your horse it's not a matter of whoa hold your horses it's a matter of you now because this flower has blossomed it has opened up to you man it has yielded its secrets to you and in doing that you now have some sort of love some sort of engagement some sort of i want to be more involved and that sense of i want to be more involved is actually which results into this lifelong learning uh, philosophy it's not the people who don't believe in lifelong learning they'll never understand it because this process which i just described it's unfamiliar to them it's in fact it's unimaginable to them they've never stumbled into a satisfying answer which is invoking a sense of hunger within you, a sense of, I now thirst for this, and I have to go on this journey, on this quest, to quench that thirst, to satisfy that hunger. So, yeah, so now the conversation is becoming very philosophical and poetic, so I'm going to just stop here. Like I said, if this conversation wasn't useful to you, it's just one of those things, yeah. But there are people in the world where they know not necessarily exactly what I'm talking about, but they have a good idea of what it is that I'm talking about. And hopefully this video, yeah, will reach those people. Sure, thanks, bye. <laughs>